season in Luxor is very prosperous this year. Tourists from all over the world come here to visit all the monuments of Luxor, especially Karnak Temple behind me. It's built over 200 acres over 2,000 years of time. So when you come to visit Luxor, you ought to come and visit Karnak Temple. The exact date of erecting Queen Hatshepsut's obelisk is very well known, but the time of constructing the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth pylons is hard to be told precisely. The reason is the sequence of kings in a short period and their destruction to the buildings of their ancestors and rebuilding in the same place constructions that mattered to them. Then their turn came and they didn't escape from the same destiny. For example, the third pylon that was constructed by King Amenophis III was stuffed with stones that were used in his predecessor's buildings. For instance, a complete kiosk of King Caesar III I was dismantled and reused. Chevrier had also found red quartzite stones that belonged to Hatshepsut's chapel and another chapel made of alabaster and was built by Amenophis I. These chapels are rebuilt and on display now in the Open Museum in Karnak. Upon restoring the ninth pylon built by King Hormuheb, the Egyptian French mission found a great number of stones known as Talatat, which were originally a part of Akhenaten's temple in Karnak. It's difficult to imagine the beauty of the third pylon, which was once the western facade of the temple, as it's almost totally destroyed. But we know the full description of the pylon through a text written by King Amenophis III on a stele in his funerary temple on the west bank of Luxor. He said, It's a great entrance in front of Amun Ra, the lord of the two lands. It's totally coated with gold, and the figure of the god in his ram image is inlaid with real lapis lazuli and many precious stones. Its floor is adorned with silver and has no match. Its pylon reaches the sky like the four pillars of the sky, and its flagpoles that are coated with gold shine more than the sky.